Okay, um, what do we do? I think... Our next stop will be Landren's house, which is this house. I'll yes, dear. Landren is the lady gnome we talked to in the friendly army who had a spider infestation problem. So we're about to fight spiders. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Are we ready for it? Not in the least. Oh, if I'll do anything. Will we die? Yes, there yes. are good chances of that. Will I save? Yes. And will I stop talking in question answer? Not anytime soon. There we go. Four huge spiders. But there is a strategy you can use with the Baldur's Gate 2 engine that you can that you could not use with the BG1 engine. It is done. And that is to flee like a chicken. As I thought. And then run to these barrels here, which form a nice choke Go point. What simple. Huh? Allowing us to Fight take on these well. spiders well, one at a time. As long as uh, uh -huh. if you wish. Right. All right. Kagan there doesn't overextend himself. Actually, we're fighting them two at a time right now. Yes. Which is suboptimal. Oh, come on, maybe if we just take a Don't little step back. Me. Okay, uh -huh. there uh -huh. we go. Okay, don't move. I said don't move. Thank you. Ouch. I could die on the next hit. But I don't feel like uh, wasting any more health potions. So I'll just assume I will not get hit again. And there we go. That's the body of the spider. These gigantic spiders are even more disgusting dead than alive. Their bulbous crystalline eyes stare vacantly in your direction. And every now and then one of their eight chitinous legs twitches spasmodically. Wouldn't you fancy putting that in your backpack? I sure wouldn't. Uh -huh. yes, if you wish. But still, that's part of the quest. Yes, dear, if that's your desire. Oh, these aren't actually yeah. locked. So we're supposed to bring Lendrin back her um, boots and wine. Fortunately, we're out of space. Pleasure. And unfortunately, my game crashed here. Uh, this is something that might happen in a while. Uh, when I click outside my window, because my cursor actually goes off screen uh, to the right, because my secondary screen is to the right. And when I'm recording with Fraps, it crashes the game. Yeah, I'll do anything. Uh, you might see slight discrepancies between uh, the moment the game crashed and now in the character's HP or maybe what we have in our inventory exactly because Go someone I was forced to uh, start back from a previous save and had to redo some of the, I'll do if that's your some of the stuff you've recently seen. Not much, but still. So, yep. That's... that happens. It's an old game, so it doesn't play too well with traps. As I was saying, um, oh, I feel so. For Landrin's quest, we have to pick up his um, boots and wine. With pleasure. If you wish. And inventories are about filled up. Uh, all right. Only Kagan has some room left. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the only thing really remaining now is uh, to go visit Thunderhammer Smitty when he's um, actually there, which is during the day. So we'll go sleep hmm. to let the time pass. Uh -huh. It is done. I got some cheap beer for ya. There we go. We'll rest here. 
and we rested exactly two days. So the time has not advanced. You can see that uh, the last time I checked this clock it was one o'clock, now it is midnight. The time actually went back. This is a you want some whiskey? slight discrepancy caused by the crash. The crash, I mean. Or the fact that it crashed. Yes. Anyway. As I thought. So it is now morning, 8 o'clock. And this maybe so should be there. So we'll pay a visit and see if he will buy his own stolen stuff, which would be hilarious. If you wish. Hi there, Tehram Fridrim. Don't ask me to pronounce that. Yeah, of course, darling. Speak up, speak up. Hello, friend. What can I do for you this day? Um, you can get out of my face is what you can do. I'll summon you when I need you. Speak to Tehram like that and you likely end up with a stoker shoved so far up your... Well... It's not for a gentleman to say. I would advise you to be polite while in his shop. Okay, we will be polite. What you wish done. But we'll still try to sell him his own swords. And hope he will fall for it. And of course, all of our gems. It's a bit weird that he buys gems, but not rings or necklaces. I would love for him to do so. Because that would free up very valuable space. Oh, well, he will buy his own stuff. That's nice. We will not sell the Bastard Sword right now. Because unidentified magical items sell for 1 GP. Which is a waste. They are potentially worth hundreds of gold. We will sell Kagan's throwing, ax throwing axes. Because they take... Uh, well, they are very heavy. And I'm not likely to use them. And there we go. Okay, so what do I want to buy from him? Well, I do want to buy a sling plus one because we will... Well, it's one of the few magical items we can afford. And we will meet with uh, NPCs that are best with a sling, such as mages, for example. I could buy plate mail for Kagan, but I will not because we will get free plate mail um, not that far in the future. However, I will buy some large shields. There's an ammo belt, which is a container for ammo. I don't need that as I have infinite stacks of ammo. Is that all I wanted to buy? Two large shields, sling, and I'll do I can make whatever design. you wish for a wee little bit more. Some arrows would be nice because I might run. I might run out. And there we go. Twelve hundred arrows should last us a while. And we'll replace the medium shields by large shields. And for those who might not know. Uh, all shields gave the same armor class bonus, which is one. Uh, except for bucklers, which I think give nothing except... Uh, I have to verify that. Anyway, small shields, medium shields, and large shields all give plus one. The difference is in the bonus versus missile weapons. Large shield have uh, a plus one bonus versus missile weapons, because they are so large that uh, you are very hard to hit with arrows. Medium shields do not have any particular bonus versus arrows. Oh, I feel so. While yeah, with pleasure. Um, small shields, I don't want to say anything wrong. Yeah, they don't give any protection against uh, missile weapons, so it's actually uh, an armor class bonus of one, except against missile weapons. And bucklers, well, I don't have any buckler, right? Oh, yes, I do. No missile or piercing attack protection. So piercing attacks are short swords and huh? daggers what do you want? and things of that nature. Out with it. And with that said, we are well equipped for our future travels. 
which we will begin in the next video.